writing is called CBD. We are in a symbolic CBD here. So if you read the text here, you will see that the Ekoi people were the architects of CBD and it spread throughout Manu. And the archaeological evidence of this writing is 2,000 years old. And scholars link it to 5,000 years old. So now, in terms of my own abstract depiction, it starts with two cities and two views. You can see one person and another person in a different position. This was a drawing that I did in the backdrop of Guinea feathers. So the different views show that no city can be the same. Cities have their own reality. Every city from where you go to, you will see people who are happy, who are poor, who have these resources and the other city doesn't have. So it has different viewpoints. Then this exhibition is called This Baby's Painting. It's a drawing I did and then enhanced digitally. So it's a digital painting. And it's called City Trials. So if you look at the face of the man, transforming into almost like a peak. He's going through a lot of situations in life and therefore he's in a kind of mode that is showing life. We have eyes, but like the owl sees in seasons rather than over time. Yes, like the bat sees in the blinkness of night and sleep in the audaciousness of daylight. There cannot be seasonal peace in a lifetime of industry. I chariot the wise into the ordained Santo Santoro of curated African, who can of lies unleash your wounds, the gullible unthinking chicken, the eat and wait for the butcher, the insatiable reaper lost in the near blindness of real spaces. So, you see that the owl with his big eyes manages to see only in the night. Mm -hmm. You see that the bat sees in the night and in the audaciousness of daylight he cannot see. So there is no perfection in life. So therefore, things that are perfect cannot be measured imperfect. So injustice is injustice. There is no half measure of, of justice. We should attribute things that do not see for 24 hours with those attributes. Those that see for their lifetime, we attribute them with that. And therefore, if something is injustice, it is injustice or unjust, and therefore we should have it like that. So that is what this poetry is talking about. We should always report things the way they are. <coughs> in order to have a society to work well, to liberate our society like Africa, in order to develop. Yes. We need to report that we are poor. This place is underdeveloped in order that we can move on and to build a society that can actually be good for the majority of, of people. So with this order of work, you can also make your own conclusions. I think <coughs> here is also an abstract um, uh, ancestor from Manu, which is, is called Tabaya. So it's a celebration of, of him in poetry. So in that, both fortitude and attitude made flesh, all moral rectitude and mind power built to power, movement, hit by great wings and ferocious wilds, Fresh and aggressive, subtle and repulsive, but running deep like still waters. Let me dip into the waters of your inspiration, O oh, ancestor, O oh, father. So it is an abstract depiction of the so called founder of the violent people. Songs of the Sun. You know the 
the song is very important to African cosmic logic. You know, actually, the song, the belief in the song is what led to the belief in what we call it, uh, from an Egyptology. And so in Africa, there are times people celebrate the song for it to come so that they can plant or for their crops to grow when the rains are falling. So the song is very important. And today it's even more important as energy now. Um, a lot of people are clamoring for solar. And so on. So there's a the post morning reality from the fact that our ancestors believed in the sun. And now we need the sun because we are having power outages and so on. So it's a symbolic drawing of the reality here. Then, love in the jar. I think. Yes. But then. Hello, sir. What is your impression about this exhibition? Wow. Uh, everything is beautiful. It's so wonderful. Especially as uh, the concept is developed from the mind. It's not something really too abstract. From the interpretation, I realize that it goes deep more than that. Just for time, that is a major question. But uh, there were some uh, paintings that you see the women singing for, for the yeah. husband. It's so wonderful. They're singing for a man. And you realize that the fact that they're singing together, it brings joy. And because that is what kept us in harmony, especially from the days of old. So keep on singing. I really appreciate. I will try to go deep into your creative and uh, artwork. You know the deep meaning of it. I appreciate. Thank you so much, sir, for visiting the exhibition. Thank you, sir, for giving me more knowledge. Different levels of texture of artwork, where you know you have the canvas and then there's extra woven material put on, painted on, to create and accentuate and bring out the painting. I find that really, really interesting. You know, very, very interesting. I think that's that is very creative. You know, and, and it took some depth and dimension into the paintings. So that is something that uh, I think is very attractive to the eye. It's a fantastic exhibition. Fantastic. You shall also get to know more of my arts and also commission me to, to produce more works for you, your interiors, your galleries, and so on. And also, again, for your prints and other services. As these um, works are multi dimensional and can also be printed on different objects, as well as they are done on canvas and other surfaces. So thank you very much for 
visiting this painting exhibition, City of Abstractions. I am Ari Ayo. Thank you.